Bring it up. Whoa. Not a whoa. Let's have a hoe. Please. I'm going to make you stand up and practice it in a minute. Keep telling the camera in. Ho, ho, ho. Let's have a ho. Oh, Ideal. Ho. Oh. Now, come on. You can... And let's have, let's have a leg up first. Go on. Ho. Oh. Ideal. Oh. No, no, another ho. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. Oh. Oh, you in a minute. Ho. Oh. Do you think it's important for the kids who come here to get a qualification at the end? In this day and age, it would be nice for somebody to make the effort of having an MBQ or whatever the words are in the public education system. I think it'd be a, it would be a good idea. But is is I did, well look at that there now. See those two coming up with a plow, isn't that? Yeah, just beautiful slide, isn't it? And it's very rewarding. You could have seen that hundreds of years ago, couldn't you? Yeah. Much the same side. Isn't it lovely? The advantages of using horses, you can see in a situation like this, we're on a very awkward bit of ground. We've got slope, we've got timber at funny angles, we can use a horse, manoeuvre him back. A little more, good boy. Good lad, that's a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, on you go a bit. Go on. Go, boy. You can see this is an awkward area here to get wood out of. You can manoeuvre the horse, he can pull it out. He's done very little damage. If you had a track vehicle or something in here, you'd be digging up the ground. Whoa, it'll do nicely for a minute. Whoa, my lovely. Whoa. It's necessary, I think, in certain jobs. Probably a horse is the only way you would do it, other than manpower, which is very hard, you know, with winches and things like that, pulling it bit by bit. So not, a, I don't think it's sentimental at all. Good boy, on the way. Uh, there we go. I have a dream to put this together uh, to preserve this old craft, this heritage for the future, encapsulated in a tangible and recognisable certificate course in its various forms, which can be passed on then from one generation to the next, and it will be safeguarded, hopefully, without further risk of this marvellous old profession slipping through our fingers, which it has been done. Ah, boy. There, and you keep an eye on that outside horse. You just need to check his reins once in a while, don't you? Yeah. Don't leave her coming here. Ah, uh, uh, check him a bit. This is, um, Demelza. That's Demelza. Been here three years, rescued from the batteries. Happy as anything, despite her weight, you think. She lays well, she, she, she enjoys having to cuddle. <laughs> right, okay. Now, who's got the egg bucket? Right. Starting with the hens, which is what was the first things that we had here. Uh, we are breeding a Buff Orpington type of hen, uh, which is a cross, in fact, with the Warren, a very popular new breed, but we're using the Buff Orpington. Uh, which was a very popular breed in the old days. These lay very nice eggs, which of course are used on the campsite. Um, again, as I said earlier, the children like to come and collect the eggs, rather like the Pied Piper in the mornings when we go down to collect the eggs in the height of the season. Anything up to 30 children going down to collect the eggs. I'll show you what that hen has just done. Just laid that egg from that hen that made that noise. You see how warm that is. You find that marvellous? Just laid. And when they make that cackle, when you hear hens making that kind of cackle, that means they've just laid an egg. And they're very proud and they like to shout out to all the world. Can you see my darling? Good girl. Do you want to feel that egg? You want you feel that egg, darling. You want you feel that egg? Anyone you feel it? 
Nice and warm. You, you take it before it drops. There you are. Let me warm egg. Just lay. There you are. Right, we'll see how many eggs we've got, shall we? You hold the bucket. You've got the bucket. You put it in the bucket. That's it. Thank you. Right, six in there. Now, how many have we got here? Let's see what we've got. Quite a few, I know. Loads of eggs. Do you want to put your hand in and take an egg out, darling? Some of them the hen. Go on. Put it in the bucket. And each get an egg to have with their breakfast, of course, that day. It's good. And it lets the children see what farming really is about, basically. Um, again, as I said earlier, you've got the older people who's, who themselves, as grandparents possibly, worked on farms, did all these things this way in, in days gone by. Uh, or you've got the younger parents whose parents or grandparents did it. And it's quite surprising the links that people have with agriculture going back over two or three generations. And it's always a very popular subject to talk about.